There's hundreds and hundreds of men here competing, flying kites. We're in West Sumatra. Indonesia has a rich kite history that dates back for thousands of years. Local competition here. Two people per team. So you got these kids, adults, all boys and men competing against each other. Historically, these Indonesian kites have been flown to send messages to the gods for goodwill and a good harvest. Okay, here we are, West Sumatra, just about to launch kite flying competition. There they go. Hundreds and hundreds of kites flying up in the air right now. Some are falling, some are going further, some are straying away. The goal is to get the kites closest to the center with the most movement and farthest away without falling. Best out of 25, may the best man win. These giant traditional kites are made with 13 pieces of bamboo. So, this, so, so the bamboo symbolizes the people, yeah. or the religions, or the cultures, and you tie them all together so they're one unity, yeah. and then you fly the unity in the air so it gets happy. Okay. Yeah. That's peace. 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 Damai. 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 Peace. I like the symbolism. <laughs> it's happiness, tying the bamboo together, like the people or the cultures of the world. And then you fly it in the air so it goes up to heaven so it gets happy. And it's to respect the culture, and the traditions, and the religion. So, this is very traditional for all the locals. Mm. If when you live here and you're a local boy, mm. you grow up doing kite flying. Mm. It's very local style. Yeah, local style. Very local style. 